Hikaru Sulu was 23rd century human Starfleet officer. As a Starfleet cadet, he first served as helmsman of the USS Enterprise under the command of Christopher Pike. Sulu was involved in the defeat and death of Nero, a Romulan bent on the obliteration of the entire United Federation of Planets. As a result, he continued to serve as the helmsman and third officer of the Enterprise under the command of James T. Kirk. Hikaru Sulu was born in San Francisco and is of Japanese heritage. Sulu left his husband and daughter behind for his duties aboard the Enterprise. In 2263, halfway through its five-year mission, the Enterprise stopped at Starbase Yorktown, where he met back up with his husband, Ben, and their daughter. Sulu served aboard Kirk's Enterprise during their original five-year mission and, after being promoted to Lieutenant Commander, returned as the Enterprise's helmsman during Star Trek. The motion picture. Sulu was an active hobbyist with interests including fencing, botany, and the martial arts of his native culture. Another of Sulu's hobbies was old-style handguns. Although he had never managed to find a police special for his collection, he is also an accomplished pilot of craft from many eras and cultures, piloting with little warm-up both an antique 20th-century Earth helicopter and a Klingon bird of prey. In 2287, Captain Sulu assumed command of the USS Excelsior. While he displayed a more authoritarian manner once taking command of the Excelsior, contrasting his more easygoing, laid-back demeanor shown previously, he was still very loyal to both his new and his old crew. In 2290, he led the Excelsior on a three-year mission cataloging gaseous planetary anomalies in the Beta Quadrant. On the return trip home, in 2293, the Excelsior encountered a subspace shockwave resulting from the destruction of the Klingon moon Praxis. Captain Janeway later opined that Captain Sulu belonged to a different breed of Starfleet officer, who served during a times rougher, and that it's not surprising they had to bend their rules a little. They were a little slower to invoke the Prime Directive, and a little quicker to pull their facers. Of course, the whole bunch of them would be booted out of Starfleet today, but I have to admit, I would have to ride shotgun at least once with a group of officers like that.